How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. I apologize for the tardiness of this recap. I know it's been a couple days already, but as I told you guys last week, I had a lot going on, and this is just this whole week has been crazy. Just this is the best time that I could have gotten to this recap video. But look. This is not going to be my usual recap. I'm going to be as brief as I can because I have something else I'd like to address in this video. But getting right into it, 62-27 to 27, the final score. 62 points, the most that the Irish have put up in a game since Lou Holtz's last game in Notre Dame Stadium back in 1996 against Rutgers. Um, I remember that game very well, by the way. Um, but, um, you know, a lot of great things to talk about in this one. A lot of positives. Uh, start with the offense. Deshaun Kaiser, another solid performance out of him as he continues to get his feet wet and make progress as a quarterback. 15 of 22 passing, uh, 207 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. The only blemish of the day for him. He continues to get better and better. I love that. Running game, I don't need to really explain anything about this. C.J. Procise, he continues to tear it up on the ground as he has been week in and week out so far. 15 carries, 149 yards, one yard shy of 150. Darn it. But still, two touchdowns. That's the big one right there. But the, what I really like seeing the most was our backups contributing some uh, some uh, key uh, some key play in there as well. Um, Josh Adams. Hands down, a big breakout game for him. Uh, well, what did he finish with? I, I think seven carries, 133 yards, uh, one touchdown, had the big 70-yard run. Dexter Williams, same out of him. Uh, seven seven carries for 48 yards, one touchdown. Brandon Wimbush, seeing his first collegiate action at quarterback, um, had the big 58-yard run for a touchdown. The receiving game, everyone, everyone was getting it done. Chris Brown had a nice touchdown reception. Will Fuller, he didn't pass the century mark this week, but he still had a very great performance, uh, 62 yards receiving, I believe, and he had the nice touchdown reception as well. Um, the offensive line, as you can tell from the, the, running, the running numbers, uh, six total uh, touchdowns on the ground, they were getting the job done as well. So everyone, everyone was doing their part and playing well. The only negative thing in this game, and this needs no, no explanation either, Defense got off to a slow start in this one. Um, you know, they uh, looked a little lost at times. We're having a little trouble with UMass. I'm not going to lie, that's concerning. That is very concerning when you're giving up uh, 20 points to UMass in the first half. You know, it's, like I said, a team that's only been an FBS school for a few years. But, not going to be too hard on them. Because they did an amazing job. Uh, stepping it up in the second half. Whatever those coaches said to him in the locker room at halftime, it worked, and they showed. Allowed only seven points in the second half, so that defense did a great job making the appropriate adjustments. But still, you know, they're getting, they're still getting fooled by trick plays. They're just, it seems like at times they were playing down to UMass's level. Don't do that, guys. You're a better defense than that. You guys are better players. I'm not trying to be critical because I'm not one to talk. I couldn't do a better job, but I'm just saying, you guys have the talent. We know what you can do. Get it done. Don't These mistakes, they can't happen with the, the meat of our schedule coming up here. But I'll save that for my preview later in the week. But, like I said, uh, not going to be too hard on them because that defense, they made the adjustments, they finished strong, and they got the job done. And at the end of the day, we're walking out with the victory. We're 4-0. That's all that matters. So guys, that is going to do it for the recap portion of this video. The other part, I'm not going to try to be too long with this, but I just have something that I, I feel I need to say. As you guys saw, I've uh, taken a step away from my Notre Dame videos, and I've brought back the Gunther Dobkins character for uh, a little bit of fun. Uh, my uh, good friend on here, Magnum, and I, we have actually teamed up, and, uh, and he just actually put together... A, uh, a little short film that I'll be posting on uh, my channel on here as well, as he did, as as is on his already. Um, but look, just uh, when I made the video of Gunther Do Dobkins uh, starting his rivalry with Wayne Simmons, I don't need to explain anything to all of you who are my regular viewers and my regular subscribers who have been subscribed to me for years. You guys know this is a character that I've brought out many times before. A lot of you enjoy him, so I don't need to explain this to any of you guys, but there were a couple of people 
after I post that video that were kind of throwing a little fit about it and complaining a little bit. Um, one person in particular, and I'm not going to say his name, I mean, you guys can go search a video and look it up, but uh, to the guy who was complaining and saying stuff like, oh, just, I'm sorry, but dude, that was one of the dumbest comments I've ever seen in my life. First off, what you had to say about, um, you know, how me portraying a character on this channel affects Notre Dame football and what the players would think of it and if they would respect me or not if they saw it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was a stupid comment. I mean, you guys can go back and read this guy's comment. First off, let me tell you something. Me making these videos on here have no impact whatsoever on the Notre Dame football team. I am just some guy who gets on camera and talks Notre Dame football. Okay? I have no impact whatsoever on that football team or any effect on, on how they do. If they win or lose, none of it's on me. I'm not the one that's suiting up and going out on that field every Saturday. So, again, a stupid comment. And as far as uh, if any of the players from the football team were to see a video with Gunther Dopkins in it, okay, so what? Some of them might like it. Some of them might hate it. They all, they all might... It doesn't matter. That part's irrelevant. Whether they like it or hate it doesn't matter. All those guys, if they were to see it, I'm sure are smart enough to know that it is just an act. Okay? Just an act. Just a character. Just someone on YouTube trying to have a little fun. Okay? I don't care. I am going to keep Gunther Dobkins on this channel. He is here to stay. So, to put it very bluntly to everybody watching... If you see Gunther Dobkins show up in a video, very simple. You don't have to watch it. Click off the video. Don't be bitching to me because you don't like the character that's uh, that I portray on here or that I that I decide to put on this channel. This is my channel. I will put anything that I want to on it. And as far as that's concerned, uh, if anyone hates what the language used by that character or what the Gunther Dobkins character says first off whether it's it's in whether it's a character saying it or me Sean saying it one thing to say to all of you I am not a politically correct person I hate political correctness and if anyone has a problem with that I really don't care I don't care if that costs me subscribers I don't make videos here on YouTube to become famous. I do them because I have fun doing them. It's a hobby. I enjoy doing it. So bottom line is this. If you don't like Gunther Dobkins, don't freaking watch. And again, stupid comment to say that, oh, uh, why do I have to see this crap? Why is Gunther Dobkins show up? The last time I saw him was right before we played Alabama in the national championship. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. It is a freaking character that I am having fun with. Again, don't watch it if you don't like it. All right? Simple as that. And like I said, this is my channel. I will put on it whatever I want. And if any of you don't like it, I really don't give a crap. Okay? So, now that that's settled, this is ND Sean 45 signing off. And as always, I say to all of you, God bless and go Irish, baby!